Hi everyone, it's Andrea and Leah. This is my knitting and spinning channel. I'll show my projects and other items and yarn that I get. For this video, I have two whips and then there are things that I purchased that are related to knitting and some yarn and I'll talk about the projects one of the or two of the projects that I talk about in this video one of them is one that I'm planning on knitting and the other one I've knitted knit before but I would like to knit and again, that the first whip that I have is the Maya cardigan. I'm up to the yoke right now. It's a free pattern on Ravelry. I love the different colors that you could use for this project and it makes the cardigan so different from another cardigan. This one reminds me more of foliage and a lot of deeper greens and warmth to it with the accent color. The one that I previously knit is a different color scheme. So there's a different accent color gray for the ribbing the buttonhole bands and it's lighter at the body it's a combination of different yarns that I had in stash but I I really love the way that it turned out. It's three quarter length sleeves and then the buttons are buttons that I'll use for this project. They're antler buttons. And the bag that it's in is my Emma Ball Puffin bag. I love these bags from her. They're the drawstring bags that have the puffins at sea. I have this one, which is a newer one. My first one that I purchased is this where they have their sweaters on and I, I love it and with this one I also got the whale one. They're my favorite types of bags that I use I, for larger projects. I like to keep all the yarn together for my projects. 
and I use lots of colors so it gets pretty bulky but it, I feel like it takes form of what's in it so there it's not too constricting My other project that I'm working on is in my lantern moon bag. I have one with the black sheep and the one with the white sheep. The one with the white sheep, it has a secret test knit. So once I'm allowed to show it all, show it on a video, but I'm making another folklore Christmas stocking. I love the pattern and there's the Latvian braid at the top. The whole pattern is lovely and I have been going, I've been working on this project and my cardigan, but I work, I also work on the test knit so I get it finished on time. But this is using the LRA Cozy Alpaca, and I've used this yarn on a couple of projects. The finished project product is this, where I use the Cozy Alpaca on fry stocking my boyfriend and these were more associated to a, a football team that he likes and I figured I would do mine so I'll have it for next year I finished working on the heel and now it's just knitting the rest of the stocking. It, it won't take long. So I wanted to knit some things from two of the books that I got for a, when it was the holidays. So the first one is Kale Bala and it's the it. It's a book with poetry and the 
Knitwear Designers is Jenna Kostet. I love her patterns and I plan on knitting a lot of garments from here. The one that I already knit and it was a free pattern on her, her Ravelry is the Birth of the World, Origin of the World. And I loved knitting it. I made it into a cardigan and I used Barico yarn. I am going to use the same colors that I wanted to add some th things for when I'm making it into a cardigan and I'm going to use Ella Ray Cozy Alpaca again. So these will be the colors. Basically, I want another one, so I am excited to knit it up. And I got this bag off of Etsy. I love the the picture on the fabric. It's well made. I I received a stitch marker and a strap so I can attach it to here, but I actually use it for my car keys. I'm still deciding what I'm going to bring to our vacation next month. We're going on the slopes and of course I want to bring knitting with me and uh, be by a cozy fire. It, it's exciting in a knitter's mind and it's It's going to be a Jenna Koskit pattern. The other one that I have in mind is the Pattern that's let the horse carry thy heavy burdens would be uh, what the English would be. I picked out colors already, so it's going to be from this book. 
I heard she'll have her patterns available on Ravelry, Ravelry again. The colors that I picked for that pattern is yarn from that's Patagonia and I love Patagonia yarn. It's Jupiter Moon Farm Patagonia Organic Merino Finest Organic Merino Humanely Raised in Argentina 100% wool There's a lot of yardage um, It's a DK weight and 100% organic Organic textile Mulesing free. Um, sorry. I love the the colorway. It's anthracite. And it'll be um an exciting knit. I also have the Patagonia yarn. It's in pearl. This will be for the yoke. And I went to the yarn shop different times, so I gradually got this yarn, but I also have one that's ivory, and two of the Pebble. I'm planning on using it for a sweater that I'll knit my dad. And eventually I wanted to knit with the ruby as the accent. I love this shade. And I wanted to knit it with anthracite. It'll be a crop sweater. So, I'll put some of this back. Since it's here. And on another trip, I got the Barico 100% Superwash Wool. It's a in the color 3344, so it should pop up if you type that in and it's a medium weight. And I really love this colorway. It's like a burnt orange. And 
Und the other book that I got as a gift is one that came out uh, last December and it's the Wilderness Knits from the home, for the Home. The Kelvala one came out in November. So these are fairly recent books and I wanted to get them as soon as I saw them. I was so excited for this one because of all of the charts that it have, has for the animals in here. I'll just quickly show it and fries home. So I think he wants to watch the game. 